There's speculation on X that there's an upcoming airdrop on the Sanctum platform. Sanctum is a liquid staking platform built on Solana where you can deposit soul and receive an equivalent staked version including Bonk Soul, Jiro Soul, Jupe Soul, and M Soul. So with the launch of the Season 1 airdrop, users can begin farming points on the platform by providing liquidity into the platform, leveling up the Sanctum pets, and completing community quests. This is a complete guide on the Sanctum platform and how to increase your points to earn a bigger airdrop. Let's get started. So at the time of filming, there is over 500 million total value locked on the Sanctum platform. And week over week, depositors have been providing more and more liquidity to increase their chances of a potential airdrop. So historically, anytime there's points involved, that is a telltale sign that an imminent airdrop is coming. And by increasing your point amount, you will receive a bigger airdrop. So on the homepage, sanctum.so, you're going to want to launch the app. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the Wonderland tab. You'll be greeted by this welcome pop-up. You can enter a referral code that is optional, but you can also just click join now. It's going to ask if you're using a ledger. No. And sign the message. Confirm. And it gives you a welcome message. So this is essentially a guide on how to farm points for the airdrop. You're going to want to own some Sanctum pets, earn some experience points, level up those specific Sanctum pets. And as you do so, you'll climb the ranks. So continue. You will get your own unique referral code. So go ahead and copy that. I'll leave that link in the description section. So under season one, there are 18 different pets you can collect and you're supposed to level up similar to Pokemons. So these are not NFT. These are just a badge of your current holdings of the specific LST token within the platform. So for example, if you buy the LST token here, you'll receive the infinity pet. Next up, we have Bonky. If you buy the Bonk Soul token, you'll receive the Bonksy. And just remember, you need 0.1 minimum of any of these derivative soul tokens in order to receive the pet. You scroll to the right. We have others such as the Jupti pet. And again, by buying the Jupe Soul token here, you'll instantly receive the matching Sanctum pet. So one thing to note, currently all the pets are on Evolution 1. So similar to Pokemon, you can quote unquote evolve these pets into another evolution. And lastly, there's a third evolution. And how you do that is by purchasing more of the perspective token and increasing your experience points. So now back to the homepage, I'm going to click on the infinity pet. So this infinity pet has up to three possible evolutions and I do need 0.1 INF in my wallet to be eligible. So how to increase your experience points. So you earn 10 EXP per minute for every one so of the INF you hold. You simply have to buy and hold it in your wallet and your points amount will increase. And also for this specific infinity pet, you can also provide liquidity on other DeFi platforms to boost your points. So for example, on the Camino Finance platform, for depositing the INF token, you'll increase your points amount on the Sanctum platform. We also have Margin5. So for depositing the INF here, you'll boost your points as well on Sanctum. So I don't own any of these pets yet. So let's start with Infinity and I'm gonna buy some of this INF token. And again, the minimum purchase amount is 0.1 SOL. So this takes us directly to the trade page. So for depositing 0.1 SOL, I'll receive some INF token token. We're going to click buy INF and confirm the transaction. Cool, that was completed. And now if you click on the point section here and scroll lower, you should see the number of pets owned populate. Now this may take a few minutes to update, but once it updates, it should show that you now owe one out of 18 pets. Now a smart way to farm more points would be to actually acquire every one of these pets. So that means going in and buying a minimum of 0.1 of these specific liquid soul pets. Now obviously if you have more capital to work with, you can purchase a larger amount, a minimum of maybe one soul of each of these pets. Because remember, the larger the size of the pet is, the more experience points you'll be earning. So cool, now I do own the Infinity Pet. Another pet I'm a fan of is the Jupti Soul Pet. This is a liquid staking derivative of the Jupiter platform. So same idea, you must own a minimum of 0.1. You would click on Buy Jupe Soul. This would take you to the Trade tab. And from here, you can then swap 0.1 soul for the Jupiter stake soul. And once you do that, you navigate to your stats section up here and you should see your new pet populate down here. So on this dashboard as well, you do see the total amount of experience points earned, cupcakes earned. So cupcakes are the specific referrals that actually use your link to sign up, global ranking versus other users, and the total amount of pets owned. 
So like I mentioned earlier, the most important number here is the number of experience points. You want this to be the largest possible. Cool, so that covers owning the Sanctum Pets. Another way to increase your experience points is to do community quests. So community quests are tasks and puzzles for you to complete alongside other wanderers. It's a collective effort. Complete a quest and everyone gets rewarded. So quest one has already been completed by the community and we are currently on quest two. So you would click on here and begin the task. Cool, so that covers community quests so let's go over some of the other functions on the platform under the infinity tab here you can swap soul for the native infinity token so what is infinity the sanctum liquidity pool is a multi lst liquidity pool that allows swaps between all lsts in the pool you can think of it as a basket of lsts so you receive the inf token for providing liquidity into this pool and the inf token is yield bearing so you do earn an apy for holding the inf token so the current price of the INF token is 174 and the APR rate is 8.6%, not bad. And a common question is, do you have to stake the INF token? And the answer is no, simply for holding the INF token in your wallet, it is yield bearing and compounding. So you'll see the amount increasing automatically exponentially. So here on the trade section, this is the swap section. So here you can trade soul for other tokens, including infinity, B soul, Jiro soul. We have Lytle stake soul, marinade soul. There's a variety of liquid staking tokens to choose from. So I do also recommend making a couple of swaps here to increase your experience points. Again, you wanna maximize your airdrop eligibility. And under stake accounts, you can search for specific Solana validators you've previously staked with under direct staking in Solana. So if you've done direct staking before directly through Solana, not Sanctum, you can link your stake account here and convert it to an LST. So this is a very specific function of the platform and most users will not be needing this and under LSTs you see all the eligible LSTs currently that are supported and you can navigate through the different pages and it'll show you the current APY rate the total stake amount and the exchange rate and you can buy it directly from here so that covers the complete guide on how to use the sanctum platform and how to farm points during season one I'm super bullish on the platform and I'm optimistic this will be a lucrative airdrop for many definitely stay up to date with everything sanctum related on their official X page at sanctum so and don't forget to check out my youtube channel for all my airdrop tutorials so happy farming if you have any questions please leave a question in the comment section i'll be happy to respond don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one